other day um, uh, about YouTube. There's a couple things, two things particularly that that really help uh, kind of make it really nice. It's it's totally unnecessary, but it's it's it makes um, it makes a great form when you're looking at your stuff on YouTube. Right? It helps your students out. So obviously, I clicked on YouTube. Um, I'm logged in. So if you click on your face, uh, your logo. Um, this could be uh, just an image. I loaded my my uh, just a picture of myself. You may have your initials here, right? Click that. Make sure that you're on the right channel. This is the one that I'm uploading all of my educational stuff to, my school stuff to, and go down and click YouTube Studio. If you've uploaded photos or sorry videos to YouTube, then this is where it's all going to lie. This is where you're going to modify things and adjust things, change the thumbnails, whatever you're going to do. If you click on your videos, then it's going to bring up all of the videos that you've uploaded uh, to this channel. I want to take this one and I want to edit that one. So, right? so the, the pencil tool will open up the details and you can edit that. So you can change the titles. Uh, now this was not the image that was up there first. In fact, uh, it was one of these images that they had placed as my thumbnail. So if people search for it or when you're right before you play it, what are they going to see? And it's the thumbnail. Uh, I've created a Google slide with a background that is this image that you see in the middle and, and the background picture. Then on top of that, I have a text box that I edit every single time. <clears throat> and it looks like this. right? So I've got that background picture and uh, I change out this text box to be whatever it is that I'm going to be recording my video on. And then I'll download this just like we've always done with the P with the PNG files. I'll download that slide as a PNG. And I, I just change the slide up as I need it, right? And so I can come over to YouTube and I can click this link right here. It'll say if you want to upload your own thumbnail, click here and you can choose it from your files on off your computer. If you can't do this yet, you may have to verify your email address and they'll give you a link there. What they'll do is they'll, they'll send you an email. You just got to click to make sure that it's just to make sure that that's you are that person. Go ahead and click that and go, f go from there. And this allows you to get that customized photo that makes your videos kind of consistent, right? They look the same way every time and it's not just some random image uh, inside the video. Sometimes that can be very awkward. You may be making a weird face or something. And, uh, you do get to choose between three videos, uh, three images, but in this case, it was just text on, on a handwriting on, a, on an image, right? So I wanted to upload that. This gives it, just makes it a lot nicer. Another thing uh, about this page that I wanted to make sure you knew was that if you go in here and if you add these timestamps, uh, to your description starting at zero zero colon zero zero you got to start there and go from there what that will do is it'll give your students the ability to click on any one of these timestamps and if it doesn't happen instantly but over uh, after a certain amount of time in your YouTube video you'll have these uh, inside the timeline they'll have them they'll have chapters set up right so this is kind of like me telling YouTube these are my chapters and once the processing finishes then and this is a new thing so it's not quite as fast as the rest of the stuff once that pops up they can click inside your timeline or they can click inside your description and, and it's it links to it directly right and uh, I've already saved this and so we can go look on YouTube we can see and I did this this afternoon we'll see how fast it works so I'll click play here and it'll take me to the current YouTube channel page for that video Okay, so let me pause this. Here you can see uh, this is the this is the channel, or this is the, the the video. I can click down here. You can see how the the timestamps actually have uh, are, are blue, right? So I can click on any one of these. I can go to ten seconds in, and I can click on. I'll, it'll get to this one. So if I go to two sixteen, and it takes me right to that. And another thing, so this is a, a relative, it happened relatively quick. So this was just a few minutes ago when I, I edited this video. And you can see here that in the timeline, you can see there's sections, right? And you can see the, the how far along you've gone. But these sections are also going to correspond to my timestamps down here. So these are what we call chapters, and you can break them up. This makes it really easy for your students just to click on that. Hey, I'm looking for just the answer to question 10. 
So I'm going to go down here. I can either click on it or I can see up top and it's going to see it has the word 10, right? 15. It's problem numbers that I showed here and it shows you just those. It's going to, if whatever text you put there, it's going to bring that up and it's going to tell you that up top, right? So intro, number one, number nine, number 10 and 15. Uh, great thing to put in there, especially if you're wanting your students to really make the most of their time. And they don't want to have to watch the whole thing and just kind of click through that, trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. They can click right to it, watch what they need, get that information, and, and, and not waste a lot of time kind of searching, right? Let's streamline that process for our students as well. So this is a great tip. Remember the, the, the YouTube thumbnail and adding chapters just inside that is a great thing. And remember, real simple, the only way, you, the only thing you need to do is add these time steps. Now I did that right here. You can click play and kind of search along that and kind of get the times and just add that to your description. Anyway, that's a great thing. I really hope you use that. It's going to be a great thing for your students. We'll see you guys next time.